Hey, I'm FXG's Nick Mitchell, and today I'm in the Unreal. Let's take a look. Unreal, first off, it's got this headset connected to a little box. Uh, in the future, this is going to be replaceable with a phone. Right here, detachable, also can stay on, is we have the remote controller, 3 dots. Cool, let's take a look closer. Okay, so now I'm going to go through the process of making a complete app in Unity. Uh, first things first, started a new Unity project. Uh, you can see it here, absolutely nothing. Pop up in Unreal to go to the website. I want to become an Unreal developer. Unreal Developer Center. Let's see what kind of sweet things they have for a developer like me. All right, so here we are at Unreal's developer portal. Before we download, let's just take a look at what else is here. We got our documentation and tutorials. Super, super cool. Here it goes through all the features of Unreal. Lots of great stuff. Uh, down to here, we got our Unity. Explains all kinds of stuff. Image tracking, controller, observer view. Lots of good stuff. I'm going to go through our quick start today, but the rest I encourage you to take a look at. Design. These are more from a design perspective. Still tells you a lot of really good stuff that you need to know. Some of it is AR general, but some of it, like uh, we're going to see controllers, this is going to be specific to the Unreal headset. So if you're an AR newbie or you have a lot of experience in AR, I would still would encourage you to take a look at both of these. And I just want to say both of these documents are growing. Um, Unreal and Android support is coming soon, plus the Unity support and the Unity documentation. It's always having new stuff added. If you see stuff here that you like or that you don't like, more importantly, let us know on the Discord. And if you see things that aren't here that should be here, let us know. Unreal is a super developer-focused company, and they want to hear back from developers on what they need and what they want so they can make developing for Unreal the most pleasant experience possible. All right, let's download our SDK. First, we need to download the Unreal SDK. I agree. Download. I've already finished my download, so I'm just going to pop it open. Unreal SDK for Unity. Awesome. So here we go. We're importing the package. It's got some demo scenes, some prefabs. Cool. Here we have it. Um, you can see in our demos, some different demos. I'm not going to go on those today. I'm just going to straight jump into it, create my own scene. Put in the Unreal camera rig, get rid of our old camera. Uh, I just want to say here, you can see it's a black background. Uh, full blacks will just not appear on the Unreal headset. So there's a way to make anything invisible, just make it black. You want things to appear and disappear, make them fade to black. Pretty simple. Uh, now I need something in my scene. So I've prepared, what did I have here? Ah yes, a zombie. There we go, zombie, prefab, zombie, wonderful. Um, actually, I want to put him behind the camera so that uh, when they turn around, they're going to turn around and they're going to be looking right back into the zombie. That's pretty good. Make him face to face, right up in your grill. Beautiful. Okay, in real camera rig, I want to switch that back to zero. Uh, last thing, I want to make people look behind them, so what should it say? Watch out behind you. And again, because this is uh, six off and 3D, it makes a difference. Like you can see now. I can choose for it to be close to you and small, or big, uh, super big and far away. Uh, if it's close to you, you're going to see it right in front of you, which is going to look cool. Watch out behind you. You can look behind you. That's perfect. One thing I want to say about space in Unreal. In Unity, we have our objects. I'll make a little cube just to explain one by one by one. That unity space is generally could be correlated to real world space as one meter by one meter by one meter. 
in Unreal, in your final build, that's exactly what it's going to be. So I can test my text in front of me, kind of how big is this going to be, and where is it going to be also. So the camera is right here. I can see my text is going to be about a meter in front of you, and let's see how big it is. Yeah, it's about half a meter, we can see here, about half a meter by 30 centimeters or something. That totally works for me. Let's see how big our zombie is. Here we go. So that would be one meter. Put this one here, that's two meters. Awesome. So, okay. I, I want him to be kind of human sized. Right here it's 1.8 meters or something. That's awesome. I want him to be a tall guy, so you're gonna look behind him and you're gonna have to look up to him. So really cool. And just to remember again, one uh, unit in Unity translates to one meter in the real world in your final project. Uh, one thing I wanna do with this zombie's animation, uh, I don't want him to move around, I just want him to be standing there. So I'm just gonna delete that. Okay, and I'm also going to create an empty object and put the camera in that. Why did I do that? I want to demo this right now and while playing I'm not going to be able to move the camera. But I can move the object that the camera's in. <gasps> That's scary. Uh, now we just need to set up our build settings. Um, so here, switch to Android. Beautiful, we're on Android. Um, just want to say if my speeds were way faster than yours, it's because I sped up the video in post. You don't need to watch me loading. Then here, what we're going to need, the Unreal Developer Kit. This is all our important stuff down here. Follow all of these settings. So... Build settings, company name, FXG, product name, let's call it behind AR. Uh, player settings, landscape left. So currently, default orientation is landscape left, but I've heard that Unreal may be changing this in the future to portrait. So one way to tell if it has changed, uh, there's an app called Scrappy. I'm going to teach it in a second. When you open the headset on Scrappy on your computer, if you see it as a hor as a vertical box, not a horizontal box, which you're going to see in a second, that means that the default orientation in the app has changed to portrait, which means building you also want to change it to portrait. But for now, we're landscape left. Other settings. FXG behind AR. Multi thread rendering. Get rid of GLL2, though it's probably not going to play because it's below it, but uh, just to be safe. Okay, let's set our Android 4.4 or higher, API level 7.0. Right, permission, external. Public settings and quality. Can count, don't sync. And we're good. Let's build our app. Let's build it to here. Behind the R point.
All right, we got our app here. It's built. Uh, let's plug in our Unreal. Okay, we are plugged in. Nothing is here. It's because it currently doesn't have permission to add. So what we're gonna do, open um, Scrappy. I think it stands for screen copy. Pop that open. Okay. Here we can, things are being weird. Things are weird like that. Uh, disconnect, reconnect. Hello, IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Okay, what I'm going to do now, because that was being too weird, I'm going to do a full restart. So I'm holding down the power button on the Unreal headset, on the, on the little console. Okay, I reset it. Perfect. So this is basically the Android-based system of the headset. I pulled the top down. Just imagine it's your um, touch screen, but you're using the mouse to control it. Go to the Android system, click that once. Click again for USB options, transfer file, and what do you know? Here it is. So my file's right here. Uh, this is an old one. I'm going to delete that. My new file behind AR. Oh, let's make sure I'm putting it in the right place. Just going to drag it right onto the um, home screen. Then I reopen Scrappy. Which is right here. I've also added my Scrappy down here because I'm opening it and closing it all the time. Got to open. Um, screen down. Okay, files. Open our file. Then we're going to click up here. Show internal storage. Down here we see our internal storage. Scroll down. Oh, behind AR01. Continue. It's loading. Do we want to install it? Yes, we want to install that. Um, now we want to open it right away, generally is good, because it might have some, like right here. Um, we need to do this first. We won't be able to click these sections on the phone, so allow. Everything's fine. I'm not going to be able to see it here. It doesn't open up. But now I take it out, unplug it from my computer, plug it into my Unreal headset, and the Unreal headset's going to automatically load uh, the Unreal launcher and I see it in the first for my launcher I select it and it's all there